Hi there, this is Fei Wu and you're watching the Face World channel. I am a digital marketer and also a podcaster since 2014. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the brand new Descript, which is an audio transcription and editing tool using text to transcribe and edit audio, which is really cool. And their brand new version was released on September 30th, 2019. I hope this video comes in a uh, very timely for you. And please let me know if you have any questions. Let's go. So here in Descript, once you import an audio file, which takes a few minutes if it's short, like this file I have, it's about 21 minute long. And as soon as you import the file, you see this little window pops up. And this is a desktop version, by the way. And you have the option to first take a look based on the accuracy percentage, how soon it will be ready. But there's also another option, very interesting, called detect multiple speakers. Once this is checked and you will be able to choose how you want to transcribe the file. So automatic just means machine translation and white glove means there will be a human involved or you can import an ex existing transcript. So there we go. I'm going to hit transcribe and there's a little pop up. It says your transcript will be ready in a few minutes. Now this transcription option with speaker identification is very important because without speaker, without the automatic um, detection, what podcasters or content creators will end up doing is to go back to the original file and have to manually label a uh, guest versus the speaker. It's, it's a pretty daunting task. It's something that will be such a time saver. All right. So it just says, it identifies three speakers in this file. Who are they? Um, so let's go take a look. So this is actually just music in this case. It's interesting. It's actually nobody. Um, so I'm going to say music. Okay. That's me. So I'm going to say it's Faye. Pause. And that is Ruth. And it says, that's it. You need to adjust the speaker label, simply drag and drop. Let's close that up. I'm pretty happy that it was able to do that. So that's wonderful. What I love about that is it actually picked out the music when nobody was speaking. So let's hear that out. Put the cursor there to see if there's any music. Great. So basically identified speaker one, two, and music. Now within this transcript area, what I want to show you guys is how to orient you around navigating Descript. Again, this is the desktop version. I highly recommend that you download that. In fact, you're going to notice immediately, very soon uh, at least, when you're editing from the web version. The web version has limited feature. And as soon as you uh, download the uh, actual software, you're in this workspace. So uh, all you can see is at the top, you see your media file. And when you click on the drop down, there are a few options. So if I hide what well, you just saw in the version history, so I'm going to show that again. As you're editing this audio file, you're able to basically hop around and see the number of versions that you have. You're able to restore these versions, which can be really helpful. You can duplicate the file. You can copy the link so other people, such as, you know, your virtual assistant, your social media manager can come in. Your guests can come in and take a look. File quality settings. This is to help you. Uh, basically, once you're done, you can download the original file to this computer. That's pretty basic. Now the main work area uh, or workstation is right here. So you have a way to kind of show and hide uh, these options here and you're able to, there's a little search 
uh, search within the project. So let's see if I want to talk about um, creation. Uh, as you can see, this is how many times and which places that Ruth mentioned the creation. You're able to, as you hop around, you're able to find exactly where they are. Click again. It's finding all the creation. It's only highlighted in the left uh, panel here, but it's not highlighted in the actual text. So that's pretty helpful. Compositions. So essentially what he's trying to say is your media library right here. So you have the original media and you have uh, what I've created clips, which I will show you in a second how to do that. And I have different versions of uh, the files that I've imported because I have a full version with Ruth Wickler. I also have what I call the cut down version. So like a 45 minute version versus a, a 20 minute version right here. So yeah, so this is um, very helpful. And now what's important here is you need to switch between when you're editing media versus when you're editing text. So as you know, you're curious about Descript, really what they specialize in is the ability for you to edit text and see audio change and vice versa, meaning you can also edit the audio and then see the text change, meaning what to ignore. So let me show you right now what it means. First, I'm going to play a little segment. So what I'm going to do is re uh, basically remove the first half of the sentence, decided that circus is important, uh, and then have her s speak r directly right into it's a really important part of circus life here. So obviously I'm not trying to be grammatically correct or make this an interesting sentence, but simply to demonstrate how to do this. So there are a couple of options. You could just hit the delete button. Uh, as you can see, again, keep your eyes focused on here. The moment I delete the text, I literally remove that entire section. So control Z, what I'm going to do instead is ignore it. So that has the same effect. So I recommend that when you edit your audio file, try to use ignore as opposed to actually deleting the text because it's helpful for you to go back and maybe you want to bring something back and things like that. So that's editing text and see the audio waveform uh, change. And by the way, to bring up this window here, this window right here, you can actually resize it. It's this little slightly unnoticeable button. It's called timeline. I don't know why they put this here, but as you can see, you can show and hide the timeline, which is your audio wave file. Now what I can also do is simply just edit uh, this timeline. So when you put your cursor here, well, you don't move your cursor at the top of this blue indicator. Instead, bring your cursor closer to the actual waveform. In this area, you see, this is where you can actually highlight the audio piece. As you're highlighting it, right here, right above, you're able to see the text that's been highlighted as well. So here, what you can do is simply delete it and that text is gone. Or some people, as you, you choose, you could also go up here, select the text and hit uh, ignore. So based on, I mean, what I have seen just based on how the software is currently set up, I actually find it more useful to edit the text as it's a little more challenging and you really don't have a lot of options to manipulate the audio file down below. Uh, when you put your cursor in the wait file, you have a, just a couple of options, split, clip, or add volume keyframe. Um, I think there it's actually easier, especially for podcasters out there. I mean, this is not you editing a piece of music for Spotify. So once you're done this edit, edit right here, you're able to see that there's a little indicator to show you where it's been uh, hiding. You know, you, you've done edit. So a couple of things you could do. If you put your cursor closer to the waveform, you're able to manipulated even further. So as I'm doing that, you can see right above, right above the text area, the text is changing. So you're able to further manipulate what you want to keep versus what you want to hide. So you can do that two, two directions through, you can move that to the right, or you can move that to the 
to the left, which means you're going to reveal, you're actually able to reveal the text you were ignoring right above. So as you're playing around with this, and you'll be able to see quite a bit of what you can do. And if you put your cursor exactly with this indicator mark, so because some of the cuts can be a little bit uh, rough, so what this indicator is doing is it's able to kind of smooth out that transition. So as you, so basically, if you're going one direction, it's going to fade into the audio on the right. If you drag it across, what this is doing is basically fade in and out. So it's, it's manipulating this section here. So let's have a listen. So you can hear that it was kind of fading in here and then slowly getting louder. But if I'm going to change that, remove that change, and then just, I'm going to do some, something rather exaggerated. Obviously you don't have to do that. A lot of these changes are better done when you make it a little more subtle, but for you to hear the difference, I'm going to put my cursor here and you can hear how this plays out when the arrow and uh, the transition goes to the right. So now it's more single directional. So you can play around. In many cases, you actually don't need to do this. The transition is pretty clear, especially when the speaker is good. You know, somebody who don't have a lot of run on sentences, who actually takes breaks and, uh, you know, professional speakers, I notice from editing is it's very clean, even when you have to edit their audio files. So next I want to show you how to create a clip using your favorite quote. There was a lot of really interesting quotes. For example, this one right here. So I love that. Creation is a process of synthesizing what comes in and what is emerging from your own inspiration. So what you can do is actually highlight that text right here. So it's now bouncing to where the waveform is. So as you're highlighting it, you're seeing all these options right at the top. You can comment it, but that's not what we're trying to do or highlight it. Instead, I'm going to choose clip to composition. Okay. Target composition is basically ask you to, you know, create a new file. And, uh, from here I'm going to say, okay, cool. Let's, let's do this clip. And now you're able to see at the bottom, what we just did is this. Creation is a process of synthesizing what, what comes in and what is emerging from your own inspiration. Great. Awesome. But here, you know, you have the original file, but then you have all these clips and you can, um, you can actually double click within the name of this file and going to say, you can create a, a clip from Ruth. I'm going to call it down, call it the, the creation clip. And from here, you're able to use export from this menu item here. You can export just the text. You can export the subtitles or captions. You can create, um, just export the audio. I know the audio portion could be very interesting for podcasters who use things like Headliner or who wants to create, uh, you know, for example, like a short social media post on Instagram with the audio form or on Facebook. That's very helpful. And if you use Final Cut Pro, if you're using Adobe Audition, ProLogic, uh, you can actually export a timeline file just for that um, uh, timeline export. And in terms of share, you have options to share a link and you can choose to have someone access edit or just comment or cannot access at all. So this will be, remain as a private uh, transcript for you. So as you invite people, all you have to do is enter their email address and right then and there, you're able to choose these options. And in terms of pricing for Descript, it's fairly reasonable right now. You can actually purchase a uh, transcript per hour, or you can upgrade to something called the producer subscription level where you pay an annual fee that's $10 per month, but billed annually or $14 per month. So that's all. Please let me know if you have any questions. And again, this is Fei Wu from Fei's World. This channel is all about creating these tips and tools for creators like yourself. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.